And speaking of coronavirus, there's a new contagious variant of COVID-19 that was first found in India, but now it has been detected here in the Bay Area and the first to be confirmed so far in the United States. Scary stuff. Stanford researchers say that this variant, as we said, originated in India. That country right now is seeing a big spike in COVID cases. Crown Force Gail Ong talking with the experts today about why they say this newest variant is especially concerning. Researchers at Stanford have been searching for COVID-19 variants since January of this year. The latest variant found in India is the first confirmed case in their lab, a sign health experts say the virus is not slowing down. The new variant dubbed Double Mutant was found in Stanford's clinical virology lab last week. Scientists in the Bay Area are trying to figure out how more infectious the new mutation is. The mutations are in the specific spike protein um, receptor site, so it affects the ability of the virus to bind to the place that it's trying to get to. UCSF infectious disease specialist Dr. Peter Chin Hong says to avoid transmission, the public needs to continue to follow health guidelines, wear masks, social distance. And the way to break the chain of transmission is either being completely safe all the time and getting the vaccine so that you know, the virus is just trying to find another nose and a mouth to infect. But if that person is protected, it can't really go further beyond that. That's why Dr. Dean Winslow, infectious disease specialist at Stanford, says it is important to get the COVID vaccine. And I think until we get at least 75 or 80 percent or more of the U.S. population uh, vaccinated against COVID-19, we're going to continue to see uh, even small outbreaks of cases. COVID cases in India have been plummeting since September last year, but cases and deaths began spiking last month, and there is no data on vaccine efficacy against the new variant, but Dr. Chin Hong is cautiously optimistic. Given the fact that the Pfizer vaccine is now shown to be effective against the South African variant from the most recent data, I feel optimistic that our current vaccines would also cover this particular variant. Again, we will wait for more data, but that is my gut sense at this moment. In the meantime, scientists stress the need for more labs like this one to find and stop these variants. This is going to be sort of our early warning uh, that, that we really need to have, particularly if we want to modify uh, the vaccines later in the year or next year to, to even better cover some of these uh, newly uh, described variants. Meantime, researchers here at Stanford are screening for seven more presumed cases of the new variant found in India. The lab screens hundreds of viral samples from people across the Bay Area. In Palo Alto, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News.